In phone sales, you deal with a lot of objections, but sometimes you don't even get to the objections because you're busy dealing with what I call default responses. And they are things like, I'm not interested, or I'm in a meeting, call me back later. In this video, we're gonna cover how to respond to the default response of, I'm in a meeting, call me back later. And I'm gonna tell you exactly how you can keep those people on the phone and turn some of them into qualified prospects. Now, before we get into that, there are two very important concepts that you need to understand and wrap your brain around. And that will actually help you deliver the script a lot better. By the way, my name is Mona, and if you're new here, consider subscribing so you don't miss the next video. I usually talk about some sales-related topics, some telephone sales, in-person sales, psychology behind the techniques, and sometimes I tell jokes, and sometimes they're funny. So the first concept that you really want to wrap your brain around is the fact that this is just an excuse for the prospect to get off the phone. That when they say, I'm in a meeting, call me back, that it's, it, they could actually be in a meeting. I'm not saying they're lying, but here's the truth of the matter. If you are in an important meeting, you're not going to answer a random phone call from an unknown number. Are you? Really, are you? Think about it. If you are in a very important meeting and you get a phone call from a number that you don't know who it is, are you gonna answer that call in the middle of that meeting? In most cases, the answer is no. But here's the twist. When people do answer phone calls in the middle of a meeting, let's say they are actually in a meeting, the reason that they would answer the phone call in the first place is because they are hoping that what you have to say is more important than what they're doing at that moment or the meeting that they're in at that time. And hope is an extremely powerful emotion in human beings. In fact, hope can actually really hurt us and it can also really help us, but it's very, very powerful. So I want you to think about it that way. The fact that they say, I'm in a meeting, call me back later, this should immediately trigger a response in your brain, letting you know that whatever it is that you said or the way that you said it indicated in some way to them that what you're about to pitch them is not as important as what they're doing at that moment. And they decided that within the first, what, sentence or two sentences that you gave them on the call. So essentially what happened was you simply were not interesting enough for them to stop what they were doing and listen to you instead. And this could come from a number of different reasons, but because we're talking about phone sales right now, it really revolves around a few main factors, which I'm not gonna get so into the details. You can find a lot of those mistakes that you might be making in this video right here. But just to give you an idea, it could be the way that you're speaking. It could be the speed at which you're speaking, the cadence. It could be the words that you're using. You could be using too many words. So what you wanna do instead is you want to make them happy that they answered your phone call. If you go back to when I mentioned the concept of they were hoping that what you had to say was more important than what they were doing, you need, really need to go into that concept a bit more and pitch them in a way where you're really gonna give them one of three main benefits that everybody wants. And what are those? Number one, either you're gonna save them money. Number two, you're going to make them money. Or number three, you're going to solve a problem that they have. And now sometimes it could be a combination. You're, you know, a problem is that they're losing money, so then you're gonna save them money. So combinations happen. But in general, what you're pitching is really going to be one of those three things, regardless of your industry, think about it, right? If you're pitching credit cards, 
you're going to save them money or you're going to solve a problem for them. If you're in real estate, you're going to make them money, ideally, if they purchase property from you and then eventually that property appreciates in value. If you have a service that you sell that solves problems for, let's say, enterprise size clients, you can be solving a lot of different problems that they have. So figure out which one of these main benefits you're pitching in general, saving money, making them money, or solving a problem. And don't say it, oh, I'm gonna be saving you money or I'm gonna be making you money. You don't say these things, but the concept is that you are confident that whatever you're pitching is doing one of these things. And just having that mindset is going to change the confidence level with which you speak in. And because you have a higher confidence level when you're speaking, the prospect will, in most cases, stay on the phone a little bit longer with you just because of that initial confidence level that you have. Now, the second concept that I really want you to understand here is that this phone call, this opportunity that you have them on the phone, it may actually be the only time you ever get to pitch them. And you have to think about it this way because it really could be the only time. And the reason that you have to think this way is because a lot of sales reps, and comment below if you've done this, when you hear a prospect say, oh, I'm in a meeting, call me back later. You know, if you're polite, you probably are saying, oh, okay, no problem, I'll, you know, I'll call you back in an hour. When do you want me to call you? You're polite, you're a human being. You believe them, so you do that. But here's the problem. And let me know in the comments if this happens to you. In a lot of cases, when you call back, even when it's the time they told you to call back, do they answer your call? Most of the time, do they answer? Probably not. So understand that, that first time that you get them on the phone could actually be the only time that you ever speak to them. And understanding that is really going to help you with the script that I'm about to give you that will turn some of them into interested prospects. So if you've been following me for any amount of time, you already know that what I always teach my students is to do the opposite of what most salespeople are doing. And if most salespeople are saying, oh, okay, no problem, I'll call you back later, when a prospect says, I'm in a meeting, call me back, then what am I going to tell you to do? Not that. Here is the secret. When a prospect says, I'm in a meeting, call me back later. Here's what you are now going to say all the time, every time, without fail. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to speed up your dialogue. And if you hear the way I'm speaking right now, I've literally sped it up so you can hear the difference between the way I was speaking before and the way I'm speaking now. If you didn't catch it, just rewind this video a little bit and you'll hear it. So you're gonna do exactly this, speed up just a little bit. And then you're gonna say, okay. And if you don't know why you're saying okay, you can watch this video. But the fact that you're saying okay, what it's doing is it's gonna make them relax. It's gonna make them think that they're about to get off the phone but they're not getting off the phone because after you say, okay, you're gonna tell them the reason that you're calling and then you're gonna ask them a question. And that question is going to be the request of that phone call. It's going to be the main point of why you called them in the first place. So it's going to sound something like this. Prospect says, I'm in a meeting, call me back later. You say, okay, that's fine. Actually, the only reason I was calling is to blank. So you're gonna say, okay, you're gonna tell them the reason that you're calling and then you're gonna end it with a question. For example, so if you are a personal assistant or an entrepreneur and the only reason that you are calling is to schedule a meeting so you can pitch them at the meeting, then what you're going to say is something similar to this. Oh, okay, well, no problem. The only reason I was calling was to schedule a meeting where we can sit down and I can show you how my service can provide you this main benefit. Are you available Tuesday or Thursday at 10 a.m.? If you work for a bank 
and the sole purpose of your call is to get somebody to say, yes, I want to apply for a new credit card, then you're going to say something like, and when the prospect says, I'm busy, call me back later, you're going to say something like, okay, no problem. The only reason I was calling was to see if you would like another credit card in your wallet that gives you higher cash back or more air miles. Is that something that you might be interested in? So again, you're agreeing with them, you're telling them the reason for your call, and you're asking them a question at the end. If you are a real estate agent, you would say something to the effect of, okay, no problem. The only reason I was calling is because we have some interested buyers, and I just wanted to see if your property is still available. Again, saying okay, telling them the reason for your call and asking them a question. It's very important that you do this quickly. You can see I'm not taking very long to get to the point. They just told me they're busy. Whether or not they're actually busy, that's a whole different subject. But the point is I need to get my point across and I need to ask them a question because I may never talk to them again. I'll give you one more example. If you're in insurance and they say, I'm too busy, call me back later, you can say, okay, well, I can do that, but the only reason I'm calling is to see if we can lower the premium that you're paying for your auto insurance. Can you just answer three quick questions for me? Quick questions. Notice the quick. It's important. Now, after all of that, if they still reply with, I'm not interested, then you want to watch the video that I mentioned before on how to reply to not interested because there's similar type of responses that no other sales trainer teaches as far as I know that really will work. And by doing this script, by, by using this response that I just gave you, speeding up your dialogue, saying okay, telling them the reason for your call, and then asking a follow-up question, doing it professionally in a very clear way will turn a lot of those phone calls into, yes, I am interested in that actually. And if they are in a meeting, guess what? They're gonna get up and walk out if they were in a meeting in the first place. Now, if you didn't write down the scripts that I was just mentioning, go ahead and watch this video again and write them down. It's very important that you do it correctly. You have to do it all the time, of course, for it to become a habit. If these phone sales tips were helpful to you, give this video a like and share it with another salesperson. I'll see you in the next video.